You said there was another issue that occurred when the royal family was traveling together. Can you elaborate on that? Em and I were flying on a private jet and we were asked to sit in the back of the plane. Why'd you have to sit in the back? That's where the seats were. Oh. Yeah, only two. And it was hurtful. I mean, if there's only two seats in the back, what other seats were there? Well, when we entered the plane, I wanted to sit in the front. That's the cockpit. Exactly. First of all, it's the cockpit, and there's some misogynism there. Mm. Certainly, maybe unconsciously. And the two pilots also wore white shirts. It was clearly a digger M. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just what pilots have always worn. Yeah, well, clearly it's systemic. Uh. But it's hurtful. No, oh, yeah, it sounds tough. And I love my brother <laughs> and my family. Harry spun a tail over tail spin. Mm. So um, you're not going to believe this, but it appears that some recollections may vary. Where have we heard that before? <laughs> In Harry's book, Spare Change, um, <laughs> Harry is saying, um, he, he, de he details being trained to be an Apache helicopter pilot. And he says, I felt the left wing dip, a sickening feeling of disorder. And then he says, was this an aborted suicide attempt? I mean, mate, that is not what you want to think when you're being trained how to fly an Apache helicopter, that your instructor is so bored by your presence, he's decided to end it all. I mean, that's how I felt when I was watching the blooming Netflix thing. I thought halfway <laughs> through, I'm just going to top myself. I can't watch the rest of this. So, but the helicopter pilot, joking aside, the helicopter pilot has said, mm, that's not what happened. Right. Yeah. So, so Harry, is, uh, the, the helicopter pilot actually said uh, that we'd go through all the manoeuvres, all the little stunts and things we'll be doing beforehand. Y you and, think you would. And Harry just uh, <laughs> talked it up for the, for the book to make himself look a bit, a bit braver. Yeah, well, you know what it's like. Um, he's admitted to doing drugs. When you, when you do a bit of cocaine, the stories come flying out, <laughs> don't they? So, uh, you know, we've all been in the kitchen and, and uh, told helicopter stories. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, this could just be his own personal truth. Because they, they don't seem, Harry and Meghan, they don't seem focused on telling the actual truth. They just want to tell their own personal truth. It's just the best PR ever to sell a book, hasn't it? It's been going on for months. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's on the cover of every single yeah. newspaper. It seems, to, it seems to be working. At first day sales of 400,000. Wow. Um, if you're Nadine Zahawi, you can maybe uh, calculate the, the tax <laughs> on that. But, uh, I mean, that, that was across, uh, it was across like Kindle and across uh, yeah. e-books and things like that, which don't, don't really count. It's like downloads on Spotify. When you say their own personal account, do you mean like a very em over-emotional telling of factual events? Because it, that everything seems to be like infused with this like saccharine kind of, it's so over the top. It's so, I felt every moment when I was in the Apache. It's like, well, good mate. The, the other people were training as well and they were going, oh, what's that button do? <laughs> like everything seems to be so yeah. emotionally charged for Harry in yeah. this book. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I mean, could be could be his ghostwriter jazzing it up. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I doubt yeah. he actually sat there and done it. They, they they probably said, look, that was great about the helicopter yeah. thing, but let's let's. I get a feeling from the excerpts of read from this book, uh, which have all been. I haven't paid for anything. It's all been uh, in newspapers. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, yeah, read yeah. The whole thing <laughs> yeah. in various newspapers. If you cobble together the stories. But uh, it seems like the ghostwriter is on commission. He's getting he's getting a cut of each book sold. He must be. He is really. Uh, over egging it to, to, I mean, everything, the bit about him rubbing, uh, Elizabeth Arden, uh, cream on his penis. And it reminded him of his mum. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> And he did the audio for his, yeah. uh, for the audio book as well. I mean, that is. Well, I'm glad it reminded him of, him of his mum. I'm delighted to announce today we're joined by Prince Harry. How are you doing, Your Royal Highness? I wished I'd thought to bring a coat. To say thanks for the interview, Harry, you fancy some hot sauce to warm you up? You want me to put that on my todger? God, no. Wow. You really do have ginger pubes. Should the Queen force Prince Harry to shave? The King Harry, remember? The Queen died. What would he say about all this mess? Let grow the luxurious bristles of a bloody Viking. We meant the family drama, Harry. What are your feelings towards them? I love my father, I love my brother, I love my family. I always, always do. Even Uncle Andrew? Are you allowed to speak about him? It's like a weird conversation to have. Why? What happened? It's still raw. That's probably the hot sauce. This is Archie's uh, announcement outside of Buckingham Palace. He was born at Portland Hospital. That's the only one that's been like this. Um, 
As you can see, no signatures. This is Beatrice's, Princess Beatrice's birth uh, certificate or the announcement outside of Buckingham Palace. She was born at the Portland Hospital. See the difference? See all the signatures? This is Eugenie's uh, easel announcement outside of Buckingham Palace. She was also born at the Portland Hospital. Can you spot the difference between the Sussex's baby, Archie, and all the other royal babies? And I mean, I can go on. It's, it's a long list, and they're all announced with the signatures of the doctors who deliver the, the babies. In the Oprah interview, you accuse members of your family of racism. You don't even... Really? Well, of... The British press said that. Right. I, did, did Meghan ever mention that they're, they're racist? She said there were troubling comments about yeah, Archie's there, there was skin colour. about his skin colour. Right. Wouldn't you describe that as essentially racist? I wouldn't, not having lived within that family. Right. So, so you again, don't going, going back to yeah. the difference between what yeah. my understanding is, because okay. of my own experience, the difference between racism and unconscious bias, the two things are different. Criticizing right now. Harry and Meghan's allegations of racism are raising the stakes in how this all plays out, along with questions about the monarchy's handling of mental health. Kate was called Weighty Katie, waiting to marry William. While I imagine that was really hard, and I do, I can't picture what that felt like, this is not the same. And if a member of his family will comfortably say, we've all had to deal with things that are rude, rude and racist are not the same. Did you leave the country because of racism? It was a large, it was a large part of it. I remember that... Um Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm sure you've heard by now, but we have new merch. Check out my new merch. That is on teespring.com, and I believe it's backslash Real Housewives Recaps, but I put a link in the description of this video as well. So check it out for everything, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.